So, Matt, are you officially a free agent now, or do you have like time left on your contract? Like, what what's going on with you right now? Uh, I still have a little bit of uh, time under the under my my current contract. Okay, but they're just kind of letting you do whatever you want. There's really no restrictions. Uh, I, I, there definitely are restrictions in some sense, but um, the, you know they're they're letting us get back out there and and do independence and uh, get our names back out there, and this is how I came up. This is how I, I made my name for myself in the first place. So places like beyond wrestling, Northeast wrestling, um, and then going to places for the first time, debuting at places like uh warrior wrestling and, and limitless wrestling this weekend. Oh, yeah. It's uh it's an exciting time for me. You know, it's, <clears throat> it's one of those things where you, you just try to make the most out of a bad situation. So when they said that we could go out there and, and kind of do our thing, I, I, jumped all over it and I, I've been familiar with the independent scene for so long that it wasn't something that I felt, you know, uncomfortable or worried about doing. I knew that I would be able to come back and I mean, I was hoping that I'd be able to come back and people would remember me. And uh, you know, it, it's been a nice, it's only been two weeks, which is crazy, but it's been a nice two weeks. I've been very busy and uh, you know, just trying to keep the good times rolling as long as I can. Yeah. And so Good times, Rolly. So you you made my news sheets here in the past week, Matt. Uh, word was that you were backstage at AEW about a week ago. Uh, is that true? Were you backstage? Uh, I, I was seeing some friends. You know, it's um, – it's, in this business, like, it's sad because sometimes, you know, you're like, oh, they're going to go here or I'm going to go there, and you think that you're going to, you know, talk to people and, like uh, – just life catches up and you never get a chance to really see people and stuff like that. You know, you'll shoot random texts and stuff and you have to kind of almost be like, you know what? I know everyone's going to be at one place at one time. I'm going to make the effort to kind of finally go see someone uh, or see a couple of peeps and say hi. And, you know, it's funny. You go and you try to hang out with your buddies and then by the time you get home, you're on the internet and people are talking about you and you're like, I was just, I don't know why, why that is so important, but um, I, I guess I do know why, but you know why. Time, I was about to say people are interested in your future, man. I mean, if they uh, hear uh, you, uh, of course. But you know, when you don't even know your future, it's hard to be like, please, please tell me what I'm gonna do. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, oh, please let me know. I like, you know, you go to to try to say hi to some old friends, and now everyone knows what you're gonna do next. It's like, relax, everyone. All right, I just, I just. I haven't had an opportunity to see some peeps and took advantage of it. And of course it becomes a big deal, but that's the story of, of sure. every wrestler, right? Yeah, for sure. Well, and I mean, you know, I consider you both a friend and a subject in this situation. And like, I'm just doing my due diligence here. I mean, I mean, look, you know, you look at the OGK, right? There's a member there that's not currently with you guys. That's Adam Cole and he's over in AEW. I don't know if that's who you were talking to or night, but just the idea of you guys all, getting to work together maybe once again is that something that you think is possible or entices you i mean it's wrestling anything's possible and obviously that we have always that group works so well because we're always real friends you know like true real life friends and no one would ever say no to hanging out with their buddies all the time and being able to work with them again so uh, obviously, me and Mike have some things going. We just did NWA this past weekend. We have Ring of Honor this weekend. Um, and we're looking to continue tagging. But, of course, I mean, I don't want the headline to be, Matt Taven says that he wants to be back. Uh, it's like, yeah, of course I would want to be back. It's like, uh, you know, oh, hey, do you want to go around the, the world with all your closest friends? Oh, you do? Holy moly, what a shocker. But, uh, um it's it's one of those things that if it ever did happen, it would work every time just because of how real uh, that friendship is. Yeah, well, and the core group of the AEW guys were Ring of Honor guys, right? Like there was that whole elite era with ROH and kind of <laughs> do its own thing. What was it like for you to work with those guys, uh, the the four or the I guess the five at the time elite members who went on to do MVPs? I mean, they they put me on the map. You know what I mean? Being in the ring with those guys when they were so hot it did wonders for me and i always go up and i i remember when the young bucks left uh ring of honor i, I went up to them and thanked them and as genuinely as i could 
because they they did everything. They changed the game in Ring of Honor. They put me on another level. Being in the ring with them obviously made me so much better and elevated my status so much from from being in the ring with all those guys. So I think the world of all those guys, obviously, they they know what they're doing and they have a good thing going. They set the world on fire. So it's like, you know, you always root for everyone to succeed in wrestling because as the the more places that are doing good, the better it is for the business overall. And seeing those guys, you know, do what they did and, and really change the world, uh, like they would always talk about, it's 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 a beautiful thing, and every, everyone should be rooting for them. Um, and you talk about you know friends doing big things like Jay Lethal, obviously the first Ring of Honor name to make the leap over to AEW. How how did you feel about? Uh, Jay's move there uh, so shortly after the news of the hiatus. I mean, Jay is <laughs> he's Jay Lethal, man. He's so good. You know, you knew he was going to end up somewhere pretty quickly. Um, you know, there's a big part of me that wish he could be part of Final Battle this weekend, but I was so happy for him. You know, and he's he's a guy that has done another guy that has done so much for me. I, I really think the match in Vegas where me and Lethal go 60 minutes kind of elevated me to another level that that I felt confident going forward that I could do anything. And um, seeing Lethal be able to to go out there and be on cable television and do what we all know he's capable of doing is, is it's something that you have to be nothing but happy for your friend who's been working so hard for so long is now being able to show it on a uh, on a grand stage. Yeah.